talk about CT, let's talk about X-rays in general. X-rays are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. They pass through the body and then they're recorded on a sheet of film behind the patient. And because they can pass through the body, depending on the density of those individual structures, they're blocked more so by the bone than they are, let's say, the lungs. Uh, so that contrast differential between how much shadowing you get from the bones versus the lungs is going to give you a picture. The problem, of course, is that you're taking a 3D object, the body, and those images are being uh, basically recorded on a flat sheet of film. So you're taking a 3D structure, recording it on a 2D image. The other problem is there's a lot of information in those x-rays as they pass through the body that is lost because of the recording medium. You can't get more than about five different densities on a sheet of film, and those include air, fat, uh, soft tissue and water, bone and metal. That's it, five densities. With a CT scan, what it does, it takes those same x-rays, okay, same generated x-rays, passes them through the body in an arc of 180 degrees, and then all of that is recorded on detectors on the other side. So that information is then taken by the computer and they calculate an image, a cross-sectional image. So now I've taken what used to be a 2D image and make a 3D cross-sectional image. I can actually see the liver and I can see the spleen and I can see the kidneys, everything that I is superimposed on a single image on a sheet of film. The other advantage is that contrast resolution, I told you you can get five densities on a regular sheet of film, you can get almost 4,000 on a CT scan. So you get a lot more information. I can see, you know, on a sheet of film, I can't see a tumor in the liver, but on a CT scan, I can.